here I like this uh, little shop with the red storefront at the end of this road. Um, it is pretty far from here and uh, today I am shooting once again with my 35mm uh, lens. So what I can do is using the crop mode to have a 50mm equivalent, focus on the store. Today I was ready for the challenge of uh, shooting with uh, almost no light because uh, looking at the weather forecast it was supposed to be uh, cloudy all day but it seemed like we have a little bit of light. It's a bit of a strange one I would say and um, I'm shooting at a new location for me. I've never been here it's called uh, uh, at Skaichi if I'm not uh, mistaken and since it's uh, a new place for me I will shoot at uh, 35 millimeter. It's a wider wide-ish lens so um, that's what I like to do new places wider wider lenses um, familiar places longer lenses okay let's get started so what I find interesting here um, is these two shops that have a green and red storefront uh, I mentioned that in a previous video already but green and red are complementary colors so this is a combination of colors that works well especially the, the green one look a bit old so it has a uh, a little bit of atmosphere and now I'm waiting for someone to uh, maybe uh, cycle here on the road to uh, complement uh, the composition. I don't know if you can really see it well with the, the GoPro but on top of it, that little hill there is a, a temple. I like here the scene. Um, we have the street. Um, the temple is quite far in the back but it is right in the middle between uh, this store, um, that other side of the street. Uh, we have the light coming from, uh, from the back, so it's a backlit situation. The light is also hitting this uh, little uh, sign here, so we can try to compose a vertical frame here. So with this scene, um, I had two options. The first is I took a vertical frame here, uh, trying to be a bit more minimalistic-ish, having only the storefront, uh, it was difficult to include or not include the, the vending machine, so I include it, uh, try not to, uh, to cut with the, uh, the edge of the frame. But still, um, what I like in this uh, whole scene is um, how the store and the car are walking together. We can uh, try to, um, to guess that maybe this is the car of the, the owner of that shop, or maybe not, but still, I think they complement each other um, uh, well. Um, and it adds a little bit of a, of a story to the image. Just found even a better viewpoint on this temple on top of this hill. I think here it works a bit better because uh, the left and right side are not totally identical, but um, they are a bit more balanced, they are a bit more uh, similar uh, compared to the, that previous frame. So it creates a better sense of, uh, of uh, symmetry. And what I will, uh, what I'm thinking when I'm taking such shot is, uh, is uh, about the edit. I know that I will be, I will be uh, putting some linear mask on the right and uh, left side to really further increase um, the focus uh, that should be uh, done on um, the temple on top of the hill. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much the idea. Little addition to uh, to this frame that I forgot to tell is that here, if I'm standing uh, just like now, um, you see the tree is cutting um, through the uh, the edge of the of the building. So what I do is going slightly more on the right, try to find a good balance uh, in order to incorporate the um, also the tree and leave a little bit of a blank space between the tree and, um, and the building because if you have everything but it's too close it's, it's, uh, it's a bit too, um, too tight um, but if you just move slightly more right then you have a good balance also make sure that on the right side is also okay left side seems okay and I think this is the right position to uh, take that photo so here I really like how this little palm tree is almost popping out of nowhere and what I'll try to do is uh, taking a very minimal composition of, uh, of, this, uh, of this. What I can see is that it's going to be a vertical composition. And what I'll try to do is not to include any of this uh, door on the right side and uh, also here on the left side. So we are left with only that section with uh, the black kind of uh, wall 
and um, the palm tree and this uh, electric pole so to have something very minimal i think my hopes of having a little bit of unexpected lights are pretty much gone uh, this is how it looks now so yeah let's uh, face the challenge of uh, shooting without light it looks like an abandoned house or something but uh, i find it looks pretty uh, Pretty interesting but the challenge I face here with the 35mm is that either I stay here and I barely include uh, everything um, in the frame but all the elements get very pushed almost to the to the to the edge of the frame or if I step back as you'll see the more I step back you see there is a fence there is a, a pole here that adds a visual noise uh, into the frame so I tried one shot like this, trying to have a cleaner shot, but having everything a little bit pushed to the edge. And I tried another shot where I stepped back quite a lot um, and embraced the fact that we have uh, this fence with this, uh, this sign here um, and this pole. And I think it looked quite decent too. I like this scene with this uh, temple looking thing on the right side. We have the road that is making a curve to the left um, but it's a bit of a challenge to compose it uh, uh, well because here you see on the GoPro that there is this white wall on the left so what I had to do is moving forward enough to remove that from the frame and you also have some uh, white sign on the road so it was a bit of a, of a challenge to find the right way to uh, include that enough so it doesn't cut through the the edge of the um, of the frame and now with the setup i'm happy with i'm just waiting for maybe someone to walk or come here on the bicycle to complement the frame but also without anyone i think it uh, looks uh, pretty decent um, so i'll wait a couple of minutes here to uh, to maybe have someone in the frame somehow i find this scene very interesting we have these two vending machines uh, that um, are Luckily, two different colors, so uh, they complement each other well. They are uh, placed almost at a 90 degree angle, not exactly so. It looks like they are having some sort of a conversation. Um, and behind them, we have a little bit of uh, cherry, uh, cherry trees with a few flowers, so that look cool. The house behind is also an interesting shape. Uh, it is pretty symmetrical and uh, somehow the, the balance of everything together, trying to place the vending machine somehow in the middle of the of the of the house behind with a little bit of the cherry tree uh, i think it works well and it's also a good uh, photo to tell um, to to showcase japan in a different way not by the beautiful temple not by the the crazy images you would see on the travel films travel magazine or whatever yeah i like it a lot um, i'm just trying to figure out the way to, to compose and uh, I'll show you the result. Here I like as this Muppet is just uh, parked here um, in front of uh, uh, the entry of this temple. I like to include it in the frame because it adds a little bit of a, of a human presence element without having any, uh, any, uh, anyone in the frame. Um, so that's what I did, placing the Muppet on the bottom left corner uh, having the, the entry of the temple on the opposite side, uh, we have these beautiful pine trees and yeah, I think it's pretty simple and a uh, shot that works uh, pretty well. So here I like these little statues, uh, but uh, what I want to take is a very symmetrical shot where uh, that main one is in the center of the frame. But it was a bit of a challenge because as you can see behind uh, there there's another building and there's a little window and depending on where you stand um, i mean the head of that main statue will cut through the edge of uh, of the frame of the window so you have to uh, try different ways get get down you can get up uh, left or right just to try to put that head uh, which i did in the end is put that head just like right now um, somehow within the within the window but not cutting through that little line that is here and not also cutting through the edge so um, 
there's uh, some element that you cannot control. I would prefer not having any window behind to have a clearer shot, but that's the way it is. So then you have to uh, try different ways to compose to have the most balanced and the most easy to read final composition. So I told you before about this shot with the moped on the left side. Uh, it was before entering the temple, but now I'm in and clearly here uh, centered very symmetrical composition works well. We have both on the right and left side elements from the temple that complements the shot beautifully. The lantern, we have some trees with, uh, with, some, um, with some flowers. And I was lucky that uh, someone walked here due to the fact that there is some light colored wall there. Uh, and he was dressed in black. He was popping quite uh, quite well, just actually just like right now. And um, I could take a shot with someone in the frame, really at the center, and uh, I think it looked uh, pretty cool. You see here, I think it's a situation where I can take advantage of the bad weather. Um, you see the clouds are getting very low, so it's uh, really uh, an interesting atmosphere. And someone was walking uh, to cross the, the street just before, so I managed to uh, quickly grab a shot uh, with him walking the street and with that uh, background that is pretty uh, very atmospherical, I would say, and I think it uh, worked quite, uh, quite good. One good thing about cloudy day is how the colors are popping here clearly. Um, it would look nice with a beautiful light, but uh, when you have some light, especially if you like to shoot in the morning or at night with golden light, the light has actually has a lot of color, orange, yellowish kind of color. Um, but what happens in cloudy day is that you just have a giant soft box uh, that is lighting everything with a very neutral light. So everything that has a natural uh, color to it, like just like this very red uh, roof um, on, on this shop, really pops very well and um, yeah I think uh, that's one of the things we forget about uh, about cloudy days. My curiosity was piqued with this very minimal scene. Little flower pot with no flower actually, little green plants. The blue shutter of these uh, stores I guess that are still closed and the pot is really placed right in the middle so makes a, an interesting minimal shot. I've got some comment of people saying that uh, my color grading um, with my Sony looked like a Fuji colors, so that's the secret. You take a picture of this with your Sony, with any camera, and then magically uh, you will have great colors on your camera. Here I decided to use these uh, sort of uh, grid things on the window as a little foreground blocking element on the right part of the frame uh, focused on the, on the uh, way into that uh, temple and I also like that there's a, a row of cars here on the left so really it adds another um, layer of uh, leading lines uh, leading to the main subject of the frame being that, uh, that temple and once again I was lucky that someone was uh, walking here so it complemented the, the frame pretty well look at the texture on this tree. Um, I tried two different shots. One I was trying to focus on these uh, little patterns. It almost looked like a, a football uh, ball actually and I tried another way to, um, to compose that with this uh, little line. I tried to uh, put it from uh, one corner to another one so it really goes through the whole frame uh, diagonally. Finally came to that uh, temple up the hill. I guess I have to uh, climb a few more stairs. So here I am on top of the hill and I noticed here like the combination of this uh, different roof, especially the last one that is uh, almost like a green, uh, green aqua kind of color with the little pike going like this. I like that a lot and I put my camera into crop mode to have a 15 millimeter uh, equivalent uh, field of view and 
I frame this little part. I think it worked quite well as a very minimal composition. And also it's uh, good that it's cloudy, so the cloud is almost uh, purely white. And it makes the photo even easier to read, I think. Going somewhere uphill, or I don't know, going on a bridge, uh, somewhere you can have a, a viewpoint from, um, from above is always interesting. It changed completely um, uh, the whole perspective. Here I like the, the temple, it's a, it's a graveyard, so that's the happiest thing ever. But still, um, I find it quite interesting to, to have a, a view on, on this from, uh, from the top. Always makes for pretty unique shots if you go up, if you shoot from, from above, from below. Um, I guess you shouldn't overuse that, uh, that sort of technique, but um, have a few shots like this um, is always good to complement your whole uh, photo story.